How are you guys doing today? My name is Alan, week 4 video journal. Going to be going over uh, week 11, social media and mental health by Adrian Meyer and Leonard Ranacki. We're doing emotions in the digital world, uh, edited by Robin L. Nabi and Jessica Galmerick. With that said, let's get started. Love this chapter, by the way, because I am all for social media and I'm always on it. I'm always on my phone. Uh, my screen time says four to five hours a day. I'm only awake for like 13 hours, 13, 14 hours of those days. So one third of my day is screen time. And so I immediately went to this chapter. And these guys pretty much did a couple of research studies and found out that three things is that one social media screen time was weakly associated with self-esteem. So they couldn't find a connection between people who were, uh, had a high self-esteem, people who had a low self-esteem, everyone pretty much uses social media. Uh, we're focusing on young te uh, teens, uh, young adults, you know, uh, in this era. What they did find was that it was positively associated with body image disturbance moderately and super positively associated with perceived social support. So people who want change or people who are open to different ideas, di different activities, Someone you say, let's go do this on a Friday night, is more, ex and someone says yes, is more likely to have social media than someone who says no. And I found that very interesting. Um, that being said, the last part about what they found in their study is that individuals who use uh, social media more often for longer periods of time may often experience highly psycho psychopathology, lower self-esteem, but higher social, social um, support, social uh, communication and I found that pretty interesting because I could fall into that category of of uh, using that screen time so that was very an interesting fact I wanted to point out moving on they go into how social media is can be negative and how it can uh, promote negative communication so f being face to face with someone and you're upset with them you probably won't you know, say something too mean if they're your friend or if they're a random person, you don't want to uh, insult them. Now, it says in pretty much social media, we've all read comments that are shouldn't have been said, but people feel safe from behind a keyboard. And that aspect of communication can promote negative aspects of, of communication. And so social, social media does have negative, uh, it does promote negative aspects. And there is... A, Tons of evidence. Just go read a, read a comment section. You'll see them. Uh, they went into screen time in this article, moving on about students, and found that students with stronger mobile checking habits per day, so longer screen time, um, report increased procra report increased procrastination, and I myself can fall into this uh, wonderful statement. Uh, as you'll know, these videos are posted. I try to post them every Friday. Um, uh, I could do them any time in the week, but if they're due Friday, and I'm just waiting until, I guess, the last very minute, so, and I am on my phone a lot, so that statement does 100% go with me, and that leads me into authenticity, which is about how one is views themselves, they're against others, and how authentic you can be if you're learning from others on screen all the time, how can you choose yourself, and this kind of goes with how young people don't truly know what they're going through yet. They don't know, they want to find themselves, um, how they perceive themselves. And it kind of goes into like self-actualization of just trying to find someone's self through social media. That being said, I want to go over the last part here that they have, it, that I found out. And that something I was pretty much going over the entire article is that they weren't finding any negative, super, super negative effects between social media and mental health. That if someone stayed on there for 10 hours versus one hour, that's bad for the brain. They never, that's not found in this article from uh, Minor and Raikini. But they do bring up this, they, in the quote, this is a stark contrast to public concern over social media's mental health impacts. The public is including myself, I would have said, hey, you be on your phone for this long as being bad. You should probably put your phone down for a bit and you know, experience the world, talk to someone. 
But according to this article, uh, yes, there are negative effects, but however, it's not too bad that it's not going to ruin your entire life of depression or empathy or anything like that. So overall, this was an awesome chapter to read. Uh, I learned, got to learn a lot, and thank you guys so much. Have a great one.